Hello, Tungsten Miner here. Today I'm going to talk about Antique Atlas. Now there's a lot of mapping mods available for Minecraft, but this one's a little different. As you can see, you have to make it in order to get it. So I'm going to start by crafting together a book and a compass to get myself an empty Antique Atlas. And I put that in my hotbar, hold it in my hand, and right click, and you see it's now Antique Atlas number three. And if I right click it again, it's going to show you this pen and ink sketch of the area where I'm standing. So here's the little pool that's in front of me, here's the forest that's beyond that, here's the mountains behind me, and so on. And uh, as I explore the world, it's going to keep expanding its view and sketch in the new areas as I go around. So before I go off too far, let me mark my current location. So these tools along the side here allow me to add various kinds of markers and manage them and delete them. So I'm going to add a marker on my current location. Maybe I'm going to pick uh, this guy here. I'm going to call it Spawn. And uh, good, done. So now I'm going to fly off for a while and uh, expand my map and then come on back. Okay, so I've now gone a pretty good distance away from where I started back over there. Let's see what my map shows me. And sure enough, it shows that I've gone north. Here's that uh, forest that's right next to me here. Here's the plains that I saw going along. It doesn't do great with these small rivers, but you can see the little dribs and drabs as it's uh, trying to sketch them in a little bit. And uh, yeah, some mountains off ahead, some mountains off to the side there. Um, oh, sorry, yeah, I went south. Uh, so here's my current marker looking back across that plains area there. And uh, yeah, there are the mountains near my spawn point. Okay, so let me do a little bit more exploring. Okay, let's check out this map again. So here I am. I'm now pretty much back to my spawn point, but I've gone and explored above this territory here, more in the mountains and whatnot. So yeah, let me head back to my spawn point. Okay, back again. And looking at my map, sure enough, I'm right next to that map marker. Uh, and what you may have noticed is as I was going along, I didn't have anything to look at. So I wasn't entirely sure where I was going and I overshot and I had to come back again. So the whole point here is that you're not omniscient and that you've only got what you've sketched. And if you want to know where you're at relative to your locations, you kind of have to look back in your map from once, once in a while to be able to check it out. And that the map isn't a perfect representation. Um, it's pretty good, and it uh, gives you a general idea of what you're looking at versus mountains, versus uh, desert, versus forest and rivers and things, but it's not perfect. And that also adds to the adventure and the challenge of being able to navigate yourself. So this isn't for somebody who wants that perfect omniscience that, say, Journey Map would give you or some of these other maps. This is much more for somebody who wants survival to be a little more challenging. But now that we're back again, I've got this atlas here, which has a bunch of my explorations in it. If I were to make a new map from a new empty atlas, it's going to be number four, and its content is only going to be this circle right here. So now, let me go off and take an exploration in a completely different direction and see what happens when I get back again. Okay, that's probably far enough. Gone a good distance here. And let's see what map number four shows me. Well, sure enough, here's my current location. Good long ways away. Here's a snowy biome. Here's some mountains in front of me. As I look back, yep, there's the forest and the plains that I went over, that little spot of plains with the river running around it, and then uh, back to my spawn point. But you notice I don't have a spawn marker here because I didn't create one on this map. Each map has its own set of markers. So while I'm thinking about it, why don't I go ahead and add that in there so that I don't lose myself. 
All right, now well, let's fly on back home again. Okay, back again, and I've now got map number four and map number three. So remember, map number three was when I went off in uh, this general direction, and I've got a bunch of data there and a bunch of data from coming back again. And map number four is when I went off in this direction. So it doesn't contain anything to the south at all, except for what was in my immediate vicinity. So I can now take both of these maps and make a copy of them. So let's say I want two antique atlas number fours. Uh, well, now I can add an empty atlas along with the atlas I had before, and now I've got duplicates. So I can hand this one off to a friend and uh, let them go off explore, or I make a copy and leave that behind in case I get killed. I don't want to lose my one and only map. But I can also take this map and my number three, combine them together, and what I'm actually going to get is neither three nor four, but a new map, number five. And number five has the combination of the two maps. So it's basically going to merge together everything that was in both maps, including any markers that were there. So you might want to start off by making a single map, and then that maps your spawn point, put your spawn marker in there, and then just start duplicating that and handing out copies or keeping copies safe as people join your server or as uh, you go off and explore and lose your first copy. Whichever way, now you're able to keep a copy safe and to take a new map with you and merge it back into your master map and make a copy of that. Okay, one last thing to talk about. I've got now an empty atlas. I've gotten rid of my other ones. I'm going to right click. That's going to give me a map of this immediate area and there are no markers present at all. And I'm going to fly up as high as I can. Well, maybe not as high as I can, but sufficiently high that when I change my game mode back to survival, I will most certainly find it a fatal fall. Splat. Respawn. Now I'm going to change my game mode. Actually, not yet. I'm going to dig up my grave. Now this is um, another mod that I've got installed. Maybe I'll talk about it someday. But it just stores all the items I happen to have on me at the time of my death. And when I break this block, I get back my inventory, which of course was just the one atlas. And we can see on my map here, I've got a new marker which is this tombstone marker telling me that my last or one of my death points is right here. Now, this is not super, super handy if um, you don't know where your death point was to begin with, but it does help you if you want to go back and track down your stuff at some future point or keep track of the various points where you've died and uh, know that there was something you were after when you were trying to go and get it. Um, and that's automatic. It will create those on its own. So that's it for Antique Atlas. Pretty simple little mod, but uh, very cool. Um, and if you want uh, to get away from that level of omniscience that a lot of other minimap mods give you, this is a great way to keep it a little more real in survival mode. So if you like this video, hit like. If you want to know when the next one's ready, hit subscribe, and I will talk to you later.